There we go. So wonderful. Welcome, everybody. Let's have a chat about natural and man-made disasters. At first, I have a question. Could you tell me what the difference between a natural and man-made disaster is? Who would like to try? Who wants to try? Uh, natural is made by uh, nature and man-made is made by people. Yeah, by people. And uh, is disaster a good thing or a bad thing? Bad, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Now, uh, Marek, how would you read the second word here? We have a disaster and there's another word which means the same. Uh, catastrophes. Yes, I wrote, I left the pronunciation here for you. Catastrophe. Yeah. Be careful because in Czech we have the word katastrofa and it looks just like this word. But in English we say catastrophe. Excellent. So uh, in 4C in your book uh, that you have to do this week, uh, there will be a listening about natural disasters. All right. But for our speaking lesson today, I would like to uh, go to this vocabulary that we have uh, from the book. And also we have some extra vocabulary concerning man-made disasters. Okay. Let's have a look. I believe that some of them you already know. So it should not be so hard, I hope. Let's try the first one. So Slavic, in this picture, what do you think you can see? What is this disaster about? Are you there? Can you hear me? Okay, so I will ask the whole class. All right, anybody knows what we would call this first natural disaster? Sandstorm. Sandstorm, excellent. Where do they happen often? Dubai. In Dubai. So there needs to be a certain landscape nearby the city. What kind of landscape is there? With a lot of sand, right? Desert. Desert. Good job. Yeah, that's it. So it will probably not happen in Europe. It will likely happen in Saudi Arabia, Dubai, and so on. Yeah. Thank you so much. Let's try another idea. Um, anybody wants to try? So Drought. there is no rain for a long time. No rain. Drought. Drought. Excellent. So you can also say it with S, droughts. To znamená sucho nebo sucha. And then famine is usually the result of this. What is famine then? How would you explain it? Famine. Hlad. Like a lot of... Well, that's, lot of I'm hungry, right? Hlad, mám hlad. I'm hungry. Famine is worse. And it's a lot of people are hungry. And they die. So in Czech, what do we say? Hladomor. Okay? Hladomor. Famine. Uh, famine can be natural because of droughts, but uh, can it be man-made? What do you think? Maybe, Mati, what do you think? Can famine be man-made? Yeah, of course. And how? Have you heard of any man-made famine? Uh, in history, like uh, the communists For example. in Russia and Ukraine. In China, uh, yeah, so China and Russia. They are, uh, those are good examples. So uh, these experiments, yeah, in the Ukraine, today Ukraine, Holodomor, it's called in, in uh, their language. You can look it up. It's a very interesting piece of history, although very sad. Yeah. Let's try another part here. This one should be easy. Who wants to try? What kind of natural disaster are we talking about? Or maybe man-made, yeah, that's also a question. But uh, what do we call it? Anybody know? The pandemic. Pandemic, good. What is the difference between a, an epidemic and pandemic? Uh, pandemic is global and mm -hmm. epidemic is just local. Local, that's it. So it can be in a city or just in one country. Pandemic is all around. Thank you. Let's try another idea. Here, a lot of snow coming down the mountain. Any, anybody knows? Avalanche. Avalanche, good. Lavina, there we go. Then we have this one. This is easy. Tor Tornado. Oops, Tornado, there we go. Then this one. We had it last week. Maybe you remember from 4A. Nobody remembers? It starts Hail. with... Hail. Sorry? Hail. Hail, and uh, yeah, this is the, the stones, right? Our hail. But together, if you have this kind of weather, what do you call it? Hail and... Uh, hail storm. Yeah, there we go. Hail storm. Excellent. So then we have this one. Anybody knows? Uh, flood. 
Flat, okay, or flats, you can say. Be careful because the pronunciation here is quite irregular. We say flat. Some people might want to say flute, but that's not what we say. Yeah? Even though it may look like this, we say flat. Excellent. Let's try another idea. Anybody knows? Forest fire. Forest fire, good. This is in the book in 4C. There is another word. Uh, which is used more often, I would say, and that is, uh, if I translate it word by word, divoki ohen. Anybody knows how to say that? Givoki. Wildfire. Wildfire. So wildfire means there's fire that nobody can control and it goes all around the forest and, you know, it, it burns everything. Okay, good. Then we have this one. What is this? Earthquake. Earthquake, excellent. So it can destroy houses or even kill people, perhaps. And this one, you have a piece of land and it's it's closed now, right? It's, it's slide, it's closed nose. So it's closed no key, uh, pudding. Anybody knows how to say that? Landslide. Landslide, yeah, there we go. I, I always try to help you like this. That It's good that it works. So landslide or mudslide. What is mud? It's the same idea here, but what is mud? Can you translate? Blato. Blato nebo bahno. Výborně. Good job. So this can also happen when you have a hill and a piece of the hill will simply collapse and slide down, um, perhaps on a city or somewhere. Wonderful. Are there any questions, guys? Everything okay? So this is the first piece of uh, the vocabulary today. Then the second part is now. Uh, th this was still in the book, I believe. A lot of them are still in the book so far. So, But now there will be a few new ones, I believe. What about this? Anybody knows? Tsunami. Tsunami. There's another word you could use. Tidal wave is the same. Yeah, tidal wave or tsunami. Excellent. What about this? Uh, eruption. Oh, uh, yeah, eruption. And uh, this, what do you call this place? A volcano. Volcano, yeah. So volcano eruption. So you could call it volcano eruption or volcanic eruption. Both are okay. What about this? It happens in the US. Mainly. Hurricane. Hurricane. Hurricane, yes. And then uh, what do you call this kind of event, but happening in Asia? Does anybody know? Typhoon. No Sorry? Typhoon. Typhoon, excellent. So the only difference between typhoon and hurricane is that uh, if you look at the map, then here in the West, you see uh, the US and uh, hurricanes happen there. And then at the same time, in tropical areas in Asia, in Eastern Asia, there uh, typhoons happen. And they are, be I I'm not an expert, but I think they are the same. It just depends where they happen, if they are in the Pacific or in the Atlantic. That's the only difference. So in the Atlantic, we call it hurricane. In the Pacific, we call it a typhoon. But look, maybe there are more differences, but this is the major one. What about here? Any idea? If it's really hot for a short time, some people might die because of this. It's too hot. A do slova jako vedrovlna, když to přiloží maně doslovně. Heat wave. Heat wave, correct. Good job. So during the heat wave, usually older people might have a problem during heat waves and they might collapse. What about this one? Anybody knows? There was a reading about this. Maybe you remember last week. Meteor crash. Meteor crash. Meteor. There we go. And in general, anything that crashes in space, we could call impact event. Right? That means every, anything. It can be a moon and a planet. It can be a comet and a star. It can be a star and a star. Galaxy and galaxy. All right? Then in general, we can call it an impact event. That, that covers everything. But if you want to just talk about meteor, then just meteor crash. That's it. Now, this might be new. I'm not sure. But at least, can you get an idea of what could happen if this happens on the sun? What do you think will happen on Earth? Anybody knows? So what happens here on the sun? There will be some kind of explosion, right? Eruption. And we call it a solar flare. And what do you think happens if there is some major solar flare on the sun? What do you think will happen on Earth? What might be the result of this? Do you think people would die? Yeah. 
No, 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 no. People would not die. No, no, no. At least not directly. Not directly, they would not die from this. But what would happen would be that um, all the machines that you have turned on would be destroyed. Any idea why? All the machines, all the machinery, all the electronics would simply be fried. It would die. Because of EMP? Yeah, it's an EMP, EMP pulse. So it would be electromagnetic pulse. And that would dis simply disable all the electronics, right? That's. Uh, do you think this would be a big disaster? What do you think? Yeah. These days, yeah, Matthew, what course. do you think? These course. days, I think we have electronics everywhere, so this would be a big, uh, big issue, right? I, last time it happened, I think, was two hundred years ago, so we didn't have much electronics back then. But maybe today, it would be a, a big big problem, a huge catastrophe for sure. All right, now we are going to man-made disasters that are definitely man-made, all right? Let's see um, this one. Anybody knows from the picture? Nuclear meltdown. Chernobyl. Excellent. Chernobyl, you said, wonderful. When did Chernobyl happen? Anybody knows? On 28th of April, 1986. Wow, yeah, we have experts here that know exact dates, wonderful. And Max, could you also tell us what happened exactly in, uh, and why was it man-made, this disaster? And what happened exactly, do you know? Uh, some problem has occurred. Um, reactor, se řekne vám učině, reactor. Reactor, yeah. That uh, reactor has over, get over the temperature, the limit of the temperature. And did and it happen just by, by chance? Or did it happen because of people? I think, uh, a chance? No, it was not a chance. No, that's uh, why this is such a big disaster. Uh, the idea there was that um, it was in Soviet Union in a communi under communist government, and they had uh, a plan uh, for five years. They always had like five year plans, and they had to um, try some tests on the new reactor to to get and improve the efficiency of the reactor. But a lot of these tests were not really safe. All right, but they tried them anyway because they had to complete the quota, the, the numbers for the five year plan. If they hadn't, they would be punished, you see. So they said, Hey, it's okay, like, yeah, it's a little bit dangerous, but we can try it, you know. We need to finish uh, those tests so that uh, people above will be happy. And we all found out, you know, like what happened afterwards. Uh, so Thankfully, it could have been much worse, uh, but uh, a lot of brave people actually sacrificed their lives to fix this. All right, anyway, uh, you can watch the TV series about it. It's very interesting and quite popular now. Uh, let's you mean try on it. HBO? Yeah, it is, yeah, I can highly recommend it. It's a little bit depressing, but you can learn a lot about, um, about this incident. Yeah, it's very interesting. Yeah, my mom has seen it, so mm -hmm. I know something about it, but... I think I'm going to watch it. Yeah, yeah, you should, you should, you should. It's very, uh, you know, edu you can learn a lot from this now. Let's try another idea. Uh, here, this is something we discussed a while back. Maybe you remember. War. You war, right? War. Now, during the war or any war, what can happen is the following. What, what would you call this situation? It's not exactly war, right? Anybody know? Sorry? Famine. Famine can be. Yeah, it's usually, it goes together with it. But it's more like the, the government will organize killing. Genocide. There we go. That's the word we need. So genocide. In Czech, we say genocida. So that means uh, organized killing of some percentage of the population. It can be because of religion, maybe because of race. Um, you know, it can be lots of things, you know. So basically, you will divide a piece of the population, and then slowly but surely you will start killing them now. Horrible stuff. I know it's not exactly a happy story, you know, talking about this, but we should learn this word because, uh, you know, genocides tend to happen quite often, unfortunately. So we should definitely know they exist. And the last one, what do you think I'm talking about here in this picture? Terrorism. Terrorism, yes. So terrorist attacks. Now, the last four are definitely man-made. When it comes to the other ones, this is, some, this is questionable because, you know, 
there have been conspiracies. We have learned uh, maybe the word conspiracy before, I think. There have been conspiracies that, for example, a uh, pandemic might be man-made or that uh, governments can control weather so that there is hailstorm or droughts, you know. This is questionable. I will leave that up to you. But at least what we know is that the last four are definitely man-made, all right? Nuclear, war, nuclear meltdown, war, genocide, and terrorist attacks. Wonderful. Thank you so much. So uh, that's basically all from the vocabulary. And now we can continue with our little chat about uh, these things.